hi guys so welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rebecca in this video i'm going to show you how to solve cambridge igcse ict practical exam paper this is paper two and we're going to be looking at document production and um, this exam is for may june 2024 paper 22 okay so for this question paper you should have been supplied with this following source files so you check your folder to ensure that you have all of these files in your folder task one evidence document open the file j2422 evidence.rtf make sure that your name center number and candidate number will appear on every page of this document okay so we are going to open the evidence document and we are going to have our name center number and candidate number appear on the document Okay, so enable editing. Okay, I'm going to click insert. So for this, they don't specify whether to use Edda or Futa. You can use anyone. Okay, so I'm going to use Edda. Okay, and then I will have my name, my center number, and candidate number. Okay, save this document in your work area as evidence, followed by your candidate number. For example, like this. Okay, so I'm going to save this in my work area. As evidence, then followed by my candidate number, and then change the file format and then save you will need your evidence documents during the exam to place screenshots in in when required task two document you're going to edit a document for tawara agricultural college the college uses a corporate house style for its documents Using suitable software, open the file j2422info.rtf. Okay, so this is the file we're going to be working with. Okay, so the page setup is set to A4. Portrait orientation with two centimeter margins. Do not make any changes to this sentence. Four paragraph styles have already been created and applied. Do not make any changes to these unless instructed to do so. You, if you want to check that all the setups, you can check it, but it's not needed. You don't need to waste time on it. But let's say, for example, the style, you want to check if you have all the styles. So you can see all the four styles that has been created. Okay, and um, our page orientation is portrait okay save the document in your work area with the file name pamphlet and make sure it is saved in the format of the software you are using okay so we are going to save the document as pamphlet and then it's very important that the file format is changed to word document and then save place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved make sure there is evidence of the file type okay so we'll go to our folder where's the file okay so this is the file so i'm just going to take a screenshot to show that this file has been saved in the correct name and the file format is there okay and i will place this as my evidence for step one question two place right aligned in the header of the pamphlet document the text so these text in bold we need to place it right aligned followed by a space your name center number and candidate number okay so insert in the header Okay, since we are only, let me see, we're only working with right aligned. So we just remove this. So I'll place the text here, space, 
followed by my name, center number, and candidate number, right aligned. Place right aligned in the footer, automated page numbers. Okay, so in the footer, we go to the footer, right aligned. So I'm just going to remove this, remove this, and then right aligned page number. Okay, so that should appear on every page. Now, there's no need to really pay attention to this text if you have done all of this properly. Okay, but just to make sure that you didn't make any mistake, you can read this all over again and check your work. Okay, select the subheading educational facilities and the following text up to and including the paragraph ending or additional privileges. Okay, so usually the first um, text is easy to locate because it's a subheading. So I will just search for this one to know where it stops. Okay, so we can see educational facilities is easy to locate. So I'm going to use the find to know where the text ends. Okay, so it ends here. So I will select from there up to educational facilities. Change the page layout so that only this text is displayed in two columns of equal width with a one centimeter spacing between them. Okay, so I'm going to go to layout, columns. Okay, do not choose any of this because this will not give you the option of um, spacing. Okay, so click on more columns, choose the two options, and then you change the spacing, spacing to one centimeter. And then OK. And that's done. The TSC subhead paragraph style has already been created and applied to the four subheadings. Modify the TSC sub subhead style so that only the following formatting is applied. So the style has been created. Okay, so we need to modify this style. I'm going to right click and then modify. Okay, so we need to check the style one after the other. So the font style name is TSC Subhead, of course, and then the font style, um, sorry, the font style is serif. So serif is Times New Roman. And then we have the font size, which is 16, font size 16. Then we also have alignment is center, enhancement bold, italic. Okay, so center bold italic we don't have underlined so we are going to remove underlined okay then we can see that this is in all caps and we don't have all caps in the um, style so we are going to remove the all caps go to format font and then uncheck the all caps and then we have the line spacing is single, zero spacing before and three spacing after. Okay, so line spacing, we go to format paragraph. The line spacing is single, is zero spacing before and three point spacing after. So we click OK and that's it. Okay, so take a screenshot evidence to show that you have modified the TSC subhead style and the settings applied. Place this in your evidence document. Okay, so we need to take a screenshot of the style.
Okay, and then we will place this in our evidence document as step four. Okay, question five. Sort the bulleted list from books to travel into alphabetical order. Okay, so we need to sort the list, the listed items into alphabetical order. Okay, and then I'm going to click on sorting. So this should be in ascending order. So it's already in ascending order. Then I click OK. So the list has been sorted in alphabetical order. Says format the list so that the bullets are indented 1.5 centimeters from the margin. Okay, so we need to indent it 1.5 centimeters. So I'm going to right click paragraph and then look for indentation. So 1.5 from the left and then click OK and it's indented. Okay, then the next question says import the image J2422 email and place it in the paragraph beginning the college has a limited fund. Okay, let me I need to copy this to search for the text. Okay, so I'm going to use find. Okay. This text, so we need to place that at the beginning. Paragraph, yes. Okay, so I'm going to insert pictures. That's done. Format the image so that the text wraps around the image. Okay, so I'm just going to click here and then tight so the text wraps around the image it appears in the paragraph starting the college has a limited fund align to the right of the column and at the bottom of the text in that paragraph okay so right and bottom so basically here okay, you can use your your keyboard arrow to adjust it to make sure it is aligned properly when clicked it opens an email editor ready to send an email to tsc at cambridge.org okay so i'm going to see, try and copy this So that means we have to create hyperlink. So I'm going to right click, hyperlink. So the email address. Okay, that's the email address. And then the subject will be Tawara Bosri. Okay. So place in your evidence documents a screenshot showing the link from the image, the address, email address, and the subject. Okay, so we can take a screenshot of this. I'm going to click OK, and then I will place that in my evidence document as step 8. Okay, look at the table in the document. Delete the entire column and contents with the heading price per week. Okay, a table. Okay, so this is the, um, the column with price per week. So I'm just going to right click and then I'm going to look for delete, sorry, delete, delete column. Okay. That's done. Then it says format the first row of the table so that it becomes a single cell with this content center aligned over the three columns. So I'm basically going to merge. Okay, this is center. Okay, center aligned. 
then it says it has a light gray 20 to 40 percent background fill so i'm going to fill it with light gray 20 to 40 percent okay format the text the table so that all the text in each row displays on one line okay so i'm just going to right click on this okay i will right click on this to make sure that everything is displayed on one line that's it i'm sorry not right click double click on this line okay the table borders and all data fit within the column width yes that's done then spell check and proofread the document okay make sure that the list and table are not split over columns or pages there are no windows or orphans there are no blank pages the original styles are maintained and spacing is consistent with the between all items so basically if you have done everything correctly there should be nothing to worry about okay and um, windows and orphans you can just right click paragraph lines okay make sure this is checked and then okay so um no windows and orphans we don't have any text splitted um one line of the paragraph is splitted to another column okay now let's we need to do the spell check click on review spelling and grammar okay so we are going to be ignoring one by one because we want to ensure that we are not um changing um name of something that shouldn't be changed so click ignore one after the other So we just ignore one by one. Okay, so spelling and grammar um, check is done. And that's the end of document production task. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.